In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Welcome to another Amadeus video tutorial. In this session, we'll walk you through how to reissue partially used e-ticket with penalty fees. Whether you're addressing fair differences or applying charges, this guide will ensure accuracy and compliance in your reissue workflow. Let's get started. In this scenario, the traveler has already completed their outbound journey from Addis Ababa to Karachi on April 17th and now wishes to modify their return date from Karachi to Addis Ababa. Before proceeding with the date change, it's critical to verify the coupon status of the original e-ticket to confirm which portions remain valid for reissue. Let's start by retrieving the e-ticket details from the PNR. Use the TWD transaction code, followed by the slash letter L, and the PNR element line number where the ticket is stored, in this case, line 8. Press Enter to display the ticket. This will show all coupon statuses and fare details for the e-ticket. You see the ticket's coupon breakdown. Coupons 1 and 2. Status F. Flown. The traveler has already used these for the outbound journey, Addis Ababa to Karachi. Coupons 3 and 4. Status O. Open. These remain valid for the revised return journey, Karachi to Addis Ababa. To verify penalty rules for issued fare basis, we'll use the FQD, fare quote display, transaction, followed by the three-letter airport codes, ADD, Addis Ababa, origin, and KHI, Karachi, destination, slash letter A, airline identifier, followed by QR, the two-letter airline code for Qatar Airways, slash letter C, booking class identifier, followed by letter T, booking class, slash letter D, date identifier, followed by April 17th, 25, the travel date with year, slash letter R, with comma sign request type identifier, followed by April 16th, 25, the date of the ticket was issued with year. Press Enter to proceed. Our issued fare basis is on line 12 of fare quote displayed on the screen. Use FQN transaction to check fare notes or rules, followed by 12 line number for needed fare basis. Display sign, followed by PE penalty rule category identifier for a reservation change. Press Enter to proceed. There is 60 US dollars penalty fees or charges for issued ticket fare basis, any time indicating that after departure or before departure. To convert the $60 penalty fee to Ethiopian Bear, ETB, use the FQC, fare quote convert, transaction, followed by 60 amount, USD, American dollar currency code, slash ETB, Ethiopian Bear, press enter to execute the conversion. This converts 60 US dollars to Ethiopian Bear, 7,589 as the penalty fee. Let's modify the return date to May 10th, in this case, ensure it is booked in the same class of service, T, as the originally issued ticket. Required air segments 4 and 5 have been successfully rebooked in T-Class. Before reissuing the ticket, we need to remove the old ticket calculation, TST, from the PNR. To delete the issued ticket TST, use the transaction TTE, slash, T1, where T1 refers to TST record number 1, then press enter to proceed. A confirmation message stating the original issued ticket TST record has been deleted will appear, indicating that the TST has been successfully removed from the PNR. To save all updates made in the PNR, type ER, end and retrieve, press enter. To calculate the fare for the modified itinerary, use the FXP transaction followed by slash letter S segment identifier 2-5, where segments 2 and 3 represent the already flown air segments from Addis Ababa to Karachi, and segments 4 and 5 are the newly booked air segments from Addis Ababa. Add slash P1 to specify the passenger number in the PNR, followed by slash letter R with comma sign for the request type identifier, and then April 16, 25 to indicate the ticket issue date in day-month-year format. Press Enter. The new itinerary fare is 158 US dollars, which is equivalent to ETB 19,985 and remains the same as the original issued ticket. Additionally, the taxes also remain the same as those on the original issued ticket. To verify the updated fare calculation, use the TQT, Ticket Quote Display, Transaction, slash, T2, specifies the second TST record in the PNR, the newly priced one, press enter to display the fare breakdown. In the newly priced TST, segments 2 and 3 are the used segments, 
while segments 4 and 5 represent the newly booked itinerary segments. The prices for these segments have been stored. To ensure only the new segments, 4 to 5, are reissued, update the TST using the TTU, Ticket Update, Transaction. Slash, T2, targets the second TST, newly priced calculation. Slash letter, S, segment identifier, 4-5, indicates the required segments to reissue. Press Enter to proceed. A confirmation message, Update OK, will appear, indicating that air segments 4 and 5 have been successfully updated in the TST for reissue. To prepare for reissue, clear any residual flags from the TST using the TTF, Ticket Flag Remove, Transaction, followed by slash T2, TST number 2, then press Enter. A confirmation message will appear, TST Flag Removed, indicating that the TST flag has been successfully removed. To display the TST, use the TQT transaction followed by slash T2 is second TST, newly priced calculation, then press Enter. To ensure the TST reflects the round-trip journey, starting and ending in Addis Ababa. To update the origin and destination using the TTK slash T2, followed by slash letter D, origin and final destination identifier, then enter ADD for both origin and final destination and press Enter. The origin and final destination have now been successfully updated or corrected to Addis Ababa in the TST. To align the reissued ticket with fair rules, adjust the not valid before NVB and not valid after NVA dates using the TTK transaction slash T2 refers to TST number 2 slash L1 indicates line number 1 of the TST slash letter V is the validity identifier followed by April 20th is the not valid before date. Continue April 17th is the not valid after date. Note, not valid after must always be after not valid before. Adjust dates based on fair rules. Press Enter to update validity. Similarly, to update TST line number 2, use the TTK transaction, slash, T2 refers to TST number 2, slash, L2 indicates line number 2 of the TST, slash letter V, is the validity identifier followed by April 20th is the not valid before date. Continue April 17th is the not valid after date. Press Enter to update validity. When updating the validity in the TST using the line reference, the no stopover indicator may occasionally be removed. To restore or update this indicator, use the TTK transaction followed by slash T2, which refers to TST number 2. Then add slash L2 to indicate line number 2 of the TST and continue with the letter X, which is the no stopover identifier. Finally, press enter to apply the update. The no stopover indicator has now been successfully updated on line number 2 of the TST. To initiate the exchange or reissue process, use the TTK transaction followed by slash EXCH, then slash T2 to specify TST number 2 and press enter to proceed. As a result, the automated letter F, first issue fare indicator, is now replaced by letter R, reissue. The letter X, new tax, is now replaced by letter O, old or previously paid tax. The total fare amount is automatically set to zero. The mode of payment in the PNR has changed from INV to O slash INV, indicating an exchange with original invoice reference. To ensure accurate accounting for the reissued ticket in dual currencies, update the TST with the equivalent amount TTK transaction slash T2 to indicate TST number 2 slash letter E equivalent amount identifier, followed by the ETB Ethiopian Bear Currency Code and the amount 19,985, slash K1 BSR identifier, followed by the banker's selling rate 126.4888, slash letter X new tax identifier, followed by the amount 7,589, slash letter T total collectible amount identifier, followed by 7,589. Then press enter to proceed with the update. This includes the equivalent fair amount, the penalty fee entered as a new tax, the total collectible amount, and the applicable bank selling rate, BSR. To automatically add the details of the originally issued ticket, first, let's retrieve the previously issued e-ticket details stored in the PNR. Using the TWD transaction, followed by slash L, line identifier, 
followed by 8, specifies line 8 of the PNR, where the FA e-ticket record is stored. Press Enter. Next, to insert the original issued e-ticket details into the PNR for reissue, use the FO original issued in exchange identifier. Enter the display sign, followed by letter L and the line number 8, corresponding to the issued e-ticket in the PNR. Then slash P1 for the passenger number 1, and slash letter S, segment identifier, followed by 4-5, indicating the specific itinerary segments to be reissued. Press Enter to proceed. After the FO line is displayed, place the cursor at the end of the line and press Enter again to confirm. The FO, original issued, e-ticket data will now be updated and appear as line 12 in the PNR elements. To update the payment details, first clear outdated forms of payment from the PNR. To remove the existing form of payment, use the XE cancel element command, followed by 13 to 14 to remove lines 13 and 14 from the PNR. Press Enter to delete these entries. Now, apply the updated payment method combining the original invoice and new charges. Use the FP form of payment, command followed by letter O, original form of payment identifier. Then slash INV to show the invoice payment method used when the ticket was first issued. Then plus sign slash INV, indicate the invoice new payment method for penalty fee. Then slash ETB 7589, ETB is Ethiopian bear, and 7589 is the amount to collect. Press enter to proceed. Once done, the form of payment on line 13 of the PNR will show the updated form of payment methods. To save all updates made in the PNR, before reissuing a new ticket, display the last issued e-ticket. Use the TWD command, followed by slash L8, where L is the line identifier and 8 is the line number of the last issued e-ticket in the PNR. Press Enter. To issue the new e-ticket, use the TTP command, slash P1, Passenger 1, slash S4-5, for segments 4 and 5 from the PNR, slash RT, to keep the PNR open on your screen. Press Enter to issue e-ticket. A message saying OK e-ticket appears, confirming that the e-ticket has been successfully issued. The newly issued e-ticket now appears on line 10 in the PNR. And that's it. The e-ticket has been successfully reissued with the updated return date and penalty fee. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Amadeus tutorials.